Can I be smart and keep that short? That was. And after listening to Kent and Elizabeth speak, I should say now, in conclusion, I thank you very much for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Did you raise much money? You said it was all about hungry. <clears throat> well, I'm delighted to be here. Um, I have been in this room as a part of two Eagle Courts of Honor. My nephews were so honored uh, 30. Um, Mike Welsh, in communicating with me and my assistant, uh, it's always interesting at events like this to understand precisely what you're supposed to do. Uh, and Mike suggested, um, I would think that 15 minutes would be good. Uh, I would hope that you could give us some insights on the hundred years of scouting that people in the room wouldn't normally hear every day. So I will try to do the same, and I will make absolutely sure that I'm not longer than 15 minutes. Um, and uh, hope you learn something in the process, and I'll try to keep it as interesting to the scouts as, as to the adults. Um, so let me just share with you sort of a view of the Boy Scouts of America from 30,000 feet. Just looking back at the last hundred years of today, and you know, I, at the very end of this, I'll tell you that everything, when I talk about Scouts nationally and historically, it's sort of interesting, but it's really unimportant. Because what happens in scouting in Los Altos happens in this room. It's nice to be part of a, of a, a larger tapestry, if you will, and it's, it's intellectually interesting, and it has much to do with our tradition, uh, and it's very important. But by the way, the only thing that's really important is what happens in this room, and in this council, and in this district, and in your cup caps and scout groups. But indeed, the Boy Scouts of America, aside from the, if you saw the videos on videos are on display as we gather. The, the role of scouting in the, in the fabric of America is absolutely extraordinary. Um, we, have cel we are celebrating our 100th anniversary, and I'm not sure if I'm misspeaking with all of the, with the prizes that are offered, uh, water bottles and the like. But according to Dallas, Texas, in the last 100 years, one month, five days, whatever it is, um, there have been a, roughly 111 million scouts. 111 million primarily boys, now girls, veterans. 111 million scouts in that period of time. Some of them Cub Scouts for very short periods of time, a month or two or three. Some for, through their, you know, until their 18th birthday and Eagle Scouts. But nonetheless, 111 million is a lot of people. Um, and in terms of the influence that, that over time those scouts have had is that today, in 2010, 2010, there are roughly 50 million living Americans who are scouts. 50 million Americans. Some Cub Scouts for a short time, some uh, Boy Scouts uh, until they were 18. So if you just assume for a moment that for each one of those 50 million scouts, there are two members of their families with Mom, dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncles, we don't have to get hung up with the details. But if there are two members of each of those 50 million living scouts alive today, that's 150 million Americans. That's, in essence, just short of half of all citizens of this country. Half of all Americans sort of understand the scout oath and scout law. They might not be able to recite it any longer from memory, but they understand the essence the scout, Cub Scout and Boy Scout and the Scout Oath, the Scout Law, honor, character, duty, leadership. Uh, it is as much a part, again, the fabric of this country as any organization in our history could possibly be. It's rather remarkable. Um, and that bodes well for us as we're in the midst of celebrating our 100th anniversary and reminding Americans of what the Boy Scouts of America is all about particularly as we look ahead and try to challenge ourselves in terms of being more relevant in the next hundred years than we have been in the last. The, um, another, this is something that you're familiar with in terms of scouts and volunteers and all in the life, but it's really, there's no organization like scouting in that 
Across the country today, there are about 3 million scouts, not counting learning for life, et cetera, et cetera. There's 3 million scouts today in the Boy Scouts of America. There are only 3,000 uh, professionals. You could not possibly serve 3 million kids with 3,000 professionals. The organization would disappear immediately. But there are 1.2 million volunteers, and that's what we are celebrating here tonight in, in the Stanford District. Um, 1.2 million volunteers serving 3 million kids, that's one adult, one trained, enthusiastic, committed adult mentor or volunteer, one adult serving two, every 2.5 kids. There is no youth organization in the United States of America. There is no youth organization in the world, I can assure you. There's no scouting organization in the world that can come close to having that kind of relationship, that kind of fostering, mentoring, training, supportive, guiding uh, membership in terms of volunteers supporting all of those kids. It's absolutely unheard of. And for that, we should be very proud. In terms of, uh, Keith spoke before dinner, uh, uh, some of the celebrations that are around the 100th anniversary of scouting, you mentioned the jamboree this one day. <laughs> Uh, had to occur at the uh, Alameda Fairgrounds. Uh, that is remarkable. There was a march in Washington, uh, I think it was in February, there were three or 4,000 scouts that uh, marched from Rayleigh Field in Sacramento up to the steps of the White House, or the uh, Capitol, and were greeted with great enthusiasm. And there's, there are those kinds of, of, of regional events, and even events you know, in, in large cities of the sort, similar that are celebrating this year. We're trying to get, the Boy Scouts of America is trying to get the celebration this 100th year anniversary and as we look forward, as close to as many kids and volunteers as we possibly can. Some of the rather unique opportunities are uh, NASCAR. NASCAR is a race scouting. Uh, Jeff Gordon had a Pine Derby race before the uh, NASCAR race in Atlanta last weekend. Uh, the scouts were part of the the flag ceremony at the beginning of the race. Uh, scouts, NASCAR will have scouts participating in a number of races throughout the year, and there is a chance, they're still working with Chevrolet and Jeff Gordon, this, but there's a chance that there will be a blue and gold Pine River Derby NASCAR in one of the races before the year is over. Major League Baseball is, is a supporting scouting across the country, and every single Major League Baseball park uh, during the summer, there will be you know, and announcements and scouts leading the, the uh, Pledge of Allegiance uh, across the country. There is an Indy 500 open wheel, an Indy car, Boy Scouts of America, Boy Scouts logo on it, Swerdley, et cetera, et cetera, that will be uh, racing in 17 races this year. There's an Adventure Base 100. There's a, it's an 18 or a 40 foot van that opens up into a campsite. This remarkable piece. Um, and it is traveling to 44 cities across America. It will be in Washington, D.C. just before the uh, National Jamboree. Uh, they opened this event, this uh, Adventure 100, at the uh, Rose Bowl Parade in Pasadena, and they had 13,000 visitors pass through it in two days. It's just remarkable. Um, there will be a mint. Uh, the U.S. Mint is coming out with a silver dollar. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I think it's a 50 cent piece. Silver dollar. Uh, is it a silver dollar? Now, this is crazy. They, this has been authorized by you know, Congress, and it's wonderful. They're, they're going to mint only 350,000 of these silver dollars. <laughs> what will one of those be worth on eBay the day after they're distributed? <laughs> And somebody will come to their senses and decide instead of 350,000 coins, they'll have three and a half million coins. Uh, yet another event. Even a bigger event that, will, that everyone will be aware of is that there will be a Boy Scouts of America 100th anniversary postage stamp. Uh, it will be released on day one of the National Jamboree. It will be available for a year, obviously, around the country. And as occurs every four years, there will be a National Jamboree in Fort A.P. Hill, Washington, just south of Washington, D.C. The President of the United States will be in attendance, uh, and it will be a, for another grand celebration of our history and our future. We really do. I mean, Scotty really has. We're anxious to show these wonderful films of our history, but we really are.